Today, I'm prepping a 35 million year old Oregon skull that I found in the United States. Here, you can see its eye socket. Right next to it, you have its nose ridge. And here, you can see its canine and its beautiful row of teeth. First, I started to put paraloid in all the cracks to stabilize the fossil. When this is done, I start to remove the matrix from the teeth of this animal. Matrix are sediments around the fossil. It is quite a task to remove everything, but with some time and patience, it is definitely possible. This is what this animal would have looked like. The more detailed work is done with a small needle or a knife, so I can get between all the small crevices of the fossil and be able to carefully remove the matrix around the delicate parts of the fossil. Removing the matrix is mostly done with an air scribe. This is sort of like a mini jackhammer. I do not touch the fossil with the air scribe during this process. The matrix will come loose by itself from the fossil when you get close enough with the air scribe. In the White River Formation, where you can find the remains of these animals, is the Oridon one of the most represented fossils that can be found. This is because Oridons were burrowing animals. When the burrow would collapse with an Oridon in it, it would create the perfect conditions to be fossilized. After putting some more paraloid in the cracks for stabilization, it is time to start preparing the snout. Now it is time to start cleaning the fossil with an airbrush. This tool shoots baking powder at a high pressure, what removes the leftover matrix but does not damage the fossil. Preparing, filming and editing of these videos take a lot of time, so please consider subscribing. On the other eye socket of the skull, I noticed that a part of the bone got loose, so I removed it to reattach later again. This also makes it a lot easier for me to remove the remaining matrix in the eye socket. The eye socket still has a part that looks fragile. Luckily, I can see a natural break line. This makes it easy for me to remove this part of the fossil to attach later again, without breaking the bone. The genus name of this animal is Orodont maracoidoidon, which translates to ruminating teeth. It got this name because its teeth are perfectly adapted for browsing on leaves. They also are closely related to camels. The time in which this animal lived was a dry grassland and the Oreodont shared its world with vicious predators like the saber-toothed cats, hyenodonts, bear dogs and the hell pig, otherwise called Arcoteria.
Now it's time to reattach the pieces of the eye socket again with some glue. We are almost at the end now. I only have to do this last piece of jaw that was collected right next to the skull. And after 6 hours, this skull is finally fully prepared. From its beautiful row of teeth and its canine, to the inside of the eye sockets, this skull is a remarkable specimen. 35 million years ago, this animal died in the open grasslands of America, where its remains got buried and eventually got found by me. I hope everyone enjoyed this video and definitely go watch my other videos.